how to make your own sweetened condensed milk using just four ingredients, let me show you how. This will save you a lot of money and you can make it anytime you need it. Hello, my name is Jersey. Let's jump right in. I just purchased this Eagle brand 14 ounce sweetened condensed milk for $2.79 from my local Publix. I wanted to show you how many grams are in it, what the consistency is compared to the one we're going to make. Now it's time to weigh all your ingredients. After you weigh it, make sure your water is boiled and your butter is melted before you combine all the ingredients. 68 grams of powdered milk. 130 grams of organic cane sugar. 43 grams of the best melted butter. I usually make my butter, but this is one time that I like to buy imported butter. It makes a big difference. And 120 grams of filtered boiled water. It needs to be really hot. If you are using a blender like I have to invert this, make sure the powders go in first, the liquids go on top, so when you invert it the other way, the liquids will be actually near the blade and they'll be first. And this will help incorporate all the dry mixes with the wet liquids. Any mini blender like this one really works well. You just have to incorporate everything so it gets mixed. And then once it gets thoroughly mixed, it will be very liquidy. You might think it's too watery. I will show you in a minute what it looks like after it sits a day, but pulse it a few times really well. Make sure the sugar is well dissolved. This one I made 24 hours ago and it has been sitting in the refrigerator, so it has thickened up very nicely. I use sugar in the raw, that's why it's darker. And this one is the Eagle brand that I purchased for $2.79. And this is the one we just made. This is made with cane sugar. And it will definitely thicken up just like this one. It just needs to sit in the refrigerator, but you can use it right away if you need to. Yes, this is thicker. And this one will definitely be thicker. And this one is a lot thicker than the one we just made, but it did sit overnight in the refrigerator. If you want it really thick, decrease the water by 41 grams. You will have less volume, but it will be as thick as the Borden brand. I have personally been using this recipe that I created over 23 years ago, using a good quality powdered milk, really good butter, the best you can get, filtered water, and a good cane sugar or sugar in the raw, really steps this recipe up and makes it taste better, in my opinion, than the almost $3 a can that I just purchased to do this video to show you the difference. While I do use this DIY sweetened condensed milk for baking a lot, but I mostly use it in my drinks that I make at home now. I've decided this year to cut back, sorry Starbucks, but I have been making a lot of drinks using coffee and this condensed milk. I will be doing my next video on some of my favorite ways that I use this sweetened condensed milk in my coffee drinks. And to me, I prefer it and it saves a lot of money. Creating this separate video will make all the coffee drinks videos a lot shorter. I'll just refer to this video if you want to make your own DIY sweetened condensed milk. Again, don't forget to print the PDF. The link is down below. Please subscribe if you haven't. Make sure you hit the bell so you'll be notified. Hit the like button and please drop a comment below if you are going to try this. And if you have, let me know if you liked it. And this is Jersey saying have an awesome day until we meet on the next video.